Anthony's taking care of recording for me, I believe. Let's see if I can Hold on. Well, guys, as Chris is pulling this up, we, uh, when we were building this PowerPoint for this morning, one of the things we wanted to do is get everything really separated because at, if you were, were not in Florida, we launched a tremendous amount of new tools. And even those in Florida, because there was so much launched at the same time, um, you kind of left, some people left fuzzy, how to use what, when to use what. Uh, you're looking there at some of the new tools. I'm not going to read this off the screen. Um, we're going to, but what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of put it in order of how to use them, completely separate them so you'll know when to use what, how to use it. If you've got your phone with you right now and you are able to get on Facebook and you weren't in Florida and you're not aware of any of this yet, have your phone ready because you can actually do some of this stuff. Um, while we're doing so go ahead and flip the page Chris so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first thing and the first thing is the best thing uh, because anytime you talk to somebody in person and you actually share what we do this the process speeds up the duplication speeds up everything's just better so Brent, do you want to run through real quick how to do the, um, how to share the video and do the one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one or living room meeting or local meeting? You want to kind of walk through how y'all are doing that? Absolutely, Coach. Yeah, uh, and, and first of all, the video, w w one of the things I couldn't, you know, I'm going to reiterate what, what Todd just said in the fact that one of the reasons, Todd, I know we've talked about this, my personal business blew up years ago is we had a press play video and, and, and it had the right things at the right points in the video. And I know you were instrumental in mentoring that video to be created back years ago in a roundabout way. And you've done it again. I mean, I see it. I see the people in living rooms. I see the people um, that watch the video, the press play video. And I think the first thing I tell everybody is, where do you access this video? If you're taking notes, you go to the rxexperience.com and you click on videos and you will see number one video is this video right here. And what I challenge everybody to do, if you have not watched this video, go watch it yourself and think about it from a prospect standpoint. But we're not just trying something out. This works. We're converting more people right now then it's, it's, it's crazy the amount of conversions coming from this video. So one of the things I would challenge you to do is, uh, and I'd highly recommend the way, is when you reach out to someone, and um, Todd, let's just do it like this. If, if I reach out to Todd, and, and we're friends, right? And I just, I spend a little bit of time with him on the phone. Not much. Like, like just, hey, Todd, how you doing? How's the kids? How's Kate up in Virginia? How's ball going? Listen, I, I thought about you the other day, man. We are doing some absolutely just amazing things with, with, um, with our company and uh, just exploding. And, and so I know you, I know your capability. I don't know if timing's right, but, but, I would love if I were to send you a video to kind of share with you what we're doing, would you take time to watch it? And Todd comes back with, yeah, absolutely. Now what most people would do at this point is they would just send the video over. I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to get the confirmation of when he's going to watch the video. So here's what I'm going to say. Todd's busy, right? So I'm going to come behind that with, he said he would watch the video. Then I'm going to say, listen, um, will you be able to watch it today or tonight? And Todd says, well, today's kind of busy, Brent. I'm running all over the place, but I think I can watch it tonight. Well, Todd, can I give you a call, say, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock? Which one would work better? So I give him two options. Todd picks the 9 o'clock spot. Perfect, perfect. I'll call you at 9 and uh, look forward to you checking that out, man. Appreciate you. Off the phone. Send over the video and then – 
I'm going to reach back out to Todd. Now, during the meantime, I've set up a three-way call. I've set up with, with someone in my business to be able to share their story. I set up and say, hey, I've got a guy, 9 o'clock. His name's Todd Rowland. He's a coach. Um, I just want to have you on standby, okay? If he don't answer or something, I'll let you know. I get that confirmation. I call up Todd at 9. Hey, man, how's it going? Hey, what did you like best about the video? Todd brings up something, okay? Well, the time freedom, he's working a lot right now. I'm saying, perfect. You know, I was the same way on the time freedom thing. Always agree. I was the same way on the time freedom thing. Hey, Todd, hold on just a second. I got somebody I want, I want to hop over and share with you what it's done for them. That's where I bridge the three-way call. Then I introduce them together, okay? And I let my third-party person, my validation person, share their story. So I won't go into the three-way call, how to do a three-way call. I'll let, kind of push it back to you, Todd. But here's the thing. Press play in three-way. If you want to put your business on absolute, like, speed dial, like on fire, how many people can you get to press play on this video and then three-way someone in? That was my pathway to making millions in this industry. So for me, you give me this tool right here, I can blow up a business and we've got it now. So thanks, Todd. Chris, anything you want to add to that? No, I just know how, what this means. I mean, you guys keep going. We may add something at the end. You're good. Okay, so one last thing on the video, just as a reminder, it is on a YouTube link. If you don't have it, somebody can send it to you. Uh, it is at the rxexperience.com. Go familiarize yourself with that website. You can tell them exactly where to go. You can describe it, the rxexperience.com. Um, and then the last thing I want to mention about the video is don't get solely in the habit of only sending this video to people. Try your best to have face-to-face -face encounters and watch the video with them in a one-on-one a two-on-one, -on meaning that you go with somebody helping to show their rep. You just, y'all tell your stories ahead of time, play the video, and then answer the questions in person. Push play in the living rooms. I know that our country's kind of upside down right now, depending on where you live. That's easier to do than not in some places and, and uh, than others. But if you are in an area where life is still normal, um, try to get in people's living rooms. And then we're going to be using it even at our local meetings that, We'll still have the same testimonials get up and, and talk about their their transformations before and after. Uh, and um, so don't just be sending the video because every one of those is kind of a good, better, best scenario. If you're in person, the likelihood of you getting someone involved with you is going to go way up. And we're in the business of helping people change their life. So don't get in a habit of trying to do everything through Messenger on Facebook, send in a video, and on, only on a three-way. Those are all great ways it really helps shrink the world down but um don't give up the in-person stuff okay next page chris hey todd can i say something real quick that i think is important to piggyback but uh, obviously the three press play three ways the most important piece i believe in in the business like you said in person in person and and even on zooms todd i've used it on zooms right in person the best um it creates, if I can do that, I've got time to do that. A new person subconsciously will say, this, this is something I can do. But even on Zooms, I know there's some people that on Zooms right now have been doing Zooms. If you're doing a little two-on-one on a Zoom, you can absolutely show this video and it's a home run too. Okay. And then at the rxexperience.com, also there is a brand new application there everyone needs to go and print this off. I, I made 150 copies uh, just the other day, uh, so I would have it in my travels. Um, but make sure you always have this present. You also want to, you know, if you do things digital, put it in your iBooks on your iPhone or whatever you guys use on Android. That way, if somebody's ready to sign up immediately, you can you can always sign them up online. But there's just something about getting it on paper. So what I will do a lot of times is I'll send it to somebody, tell them to fill it out, take a picture and send it back to me. Then I can help put them in the system. Now, we all know that we have smart links. We have websites they can sign up on. All that is fine. 
but we have found through the years, even in 2020, soon to be 2021, a paper application is great. A footnote there, there are some cheaper packs there at the top. They will not count for 2X. Make sure you, you have to get a transformation or experience pack or higher for it to count as 2X, but they are there for the people that, that don't want to spend $370, but we still want to at least get them in the system with something. And uh, they'll have to get the rest of their volume points to get it up and get them qualified for the 2X in that first 28 days. We're not going to train a lot on that today just because we've got so much to cover. Okay. All right. So let's separate this completely. So that is how we build the business. We show the video. We send the video. We do three-way calls. We do in-person testimonials. And we just get that moving. So if you can't do it in person, I would say a good number was, would be to at least share this video five times with confirmed watches and confirmed three-way follow-ups. You don't always have to have a, a, a top money earner to do a three-way call. Anybody works that has any, I mean, sometimes brand new people that have had a health transformation in their first 60 days or have gotten their first couple of paychecks are as good of a three-way as you could ever use because remember, it's relatability that next brand new person looking. But now totally separating that, if you, if you weren't in Florida and you're not aware of what we're about to go into now, this is where you're going to need your phone with you. So you can go ahead and join these groups. So the next one is what we call our customer acquisition Facebook group. This is for people that you randomly are talking to that for whatever reason, you just don't feel comfortable getting the video in front of them yet. You met them in line at the grocery store. You bumped into them at your kid's basketball game. It's a friend that you just really don't know how to approach. They're overweight. You don't know if they'll be interested in your business, but you want them to at least look at the product. Um, so this is not where we, we get them dripping on the business. This is where we get them dripping on losing weight, uh, sleeping better at night, more energy, all the different things out there that we obviously know, know that good nutrition can do for the body. The name of the website is called Transformation Health Styles. All you got to do is go and, and uh, get added there yourself if you're not. And then the secret we've learned with this website is, is that if you go, after you go to the website, if you go up there and you copy the actual link and send them the link. It's much easier to get them added than just sending them an invite. Sometimes an invite gets lost and they don't actually join it. Brent, Chris? Yeah, I, what I would add on this, Todd, is, is this page is meant to be interactive with the customer acquisition, you know, the prospect. Meaning, Todd, if I'm sitting there at a ball game and, 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 and a mom is, uh, you know, or a dad is sitting there going, man, how did you lose? I mean, you look great. Like, this is an opportunity to be able to pull this up, get them added. But also, like you said, being able to send them a link to this, but work with the person to move them into this group. Um, that is one of the things that I would tell you. And, and Todd, you might be about to share this, but we've already had results. I mean, people are enrolling people that put people in last week. Like they're getting them in the business quick. They're getting them as a customer quick. And then we can warm them up to, to then enrolling in the, you know, with a pack down the road, but it's already working. What I would suggest is, and highly recommend is set a game plan with yourself. Hey, every week I'm going to, I'm going to add five new people to this page that are just interested in the products. And I'm going to add them to this page and then I'm going to tag them. Once I get them added, I'm going to go tag them in Dr. Ginger's video. That's at the top of the page. Dr. Ginger kind of does like a little small overlay video of how great the products are. And so Todd, what I would do is I would in tagging them in Dr. Ginger's video, I would tag them and say something like, Hey, Chris, Do uh, start here, Chris Doyle. And it gives that new person a starting point. They watch that little video. I tag them in a couple of transformation stories that relate to them. And I start conversating with them about those transformations of real people having real results. This is absolutely a home run. When we got this from the Italians, one of the biggest things they said is we convert today. They've done it for a while now, but they were like, we convert 
so many of our customers, preferred customers to reps because of this page. And they use it as a way, they enroll a lot and then they, they will drill up and convert uh, to reps down the road. The other thing I would tell you is one of the things the, the Italian leaders told me and Todd and Chris and, and, and others was um, you got to start. So there's a lot of things we can do inside of this page, but it's kind of like fine wine. It, take, it, it gets better with age, <laughs> right? So this page is going to get massively great, but we – have to make it great. You have to help us make it great. This is not a Todd Rowland page or a Brent Palmer page. This is a you page. This is our organization page. So how can you help us submit your transformation stories to the page? Like we need your help because somebody's going to relate to you. So if you're sitting there and you don't have your transformation story dealing with just product, how the products have helped you, in your life on here, please, please put your before and after pictures, type up your stories, reverse engineer it like with the people that you see on here. And guys, we're going to have a phenomenal page here. The other thing, Todd, I wanted to mention, and I know I'm saying a lot, is if you have a product video that you like, maybe it's Dr. Strand, maybe it's Dr. Ginger, maybe it's somebody talking about Power Boost, shake recipes or power boost dessert recipes through this weekend todd if we could have all of the people that are on here post that just like they would post a transformation i can grab that and take it to the unit section does that make sense hey you're muted todd so let's go back Chris to Dr. Crystal Vance's picture real quick. Uh, I, I happened to talk to her yesterday and um, she had seven new people ready to put in the system last night uh, from using all of these tools after she went home. And the great thing for all of us now is we get via this website or this, this Facebook page, we get to use her story just like she does. She's the one that, that lost 159 pounds, but when I talk to somebody tomorrow, I get to share this picture with them. I can go to this Facebook page. I can tag this link and send it straight to them, them tagged in it, and then they get to see this. And I'm not the one that has to tell the person I'm sending to that they're fat. They get to, to realize that themselves and say, hey, I want to have Dr. Crystal's transformation. And then once we get them in the group, all of this starts dripping on them. I've seen a couple of questions. Um, you, there's, there's really no limit on pictures. Just look what the ones that are in there. We're, we're, we're highly monitoring this. So a couple of ground rules is this is only product, only transformation. You can never mention the business in here. This is not for information flow. The only thing ever that can be posted on this page is health transformation. The second rule is. We can make no health claims. So if you have gotten on the Slenderize and the approved food list, and even if your doctor has told you that your sugar levels with your type diabetes are now all equaled out, we can't say that ever on this page. You can just have, you have to make very generic statements because this is public information. You just have to be really clean there. So we'll be monitoring that. But we want as many before and after pictures, transformation stories, Sometimes it's not all about weight loss. You may type up how you were, you know, you, you can't say that your rheumatoid arthritis is better, but you could say something like, you know, before I started on the MOA, I was having a lot of trouble getting around, a lot of aches and pains. And now then my, I, I'm much more mobile and I'm getting around much better. I just have so much more energy. Things like that is how, kind of how you have to word it. But you'll see when you get in there and play around yourself, I mean, it's very motivating. It's got me eating perfect, Brent. I'm, I'm walking around with my gallon of water like everybody else now. I, I, I got to catch up. It, it definitely is an accounting uh, accountability piece, too, for us. It's unbelievable. I, I feel the same way. I'm like, uh, but but one of the things, too, Coach, is this is a um, – this is for – this is for all of us. I can't reiterate that enough. I've, I've worked in groups, but 
I really listen to the Italians talk about how their people embraced this, the group. It made it successful. So the more you embrace it, the more people you add and tag into the group, the more interaction we get, it's just going to create a masterful, a masterful, you know, conversion tool for you and for your team. Uh, so this right here, again, I go back to the game plan. I wouldn't try to just spend hours on this, but I definitely would put my transformation, get it locked and loaded in there. And then if you've got a favorite video through this weekend, post the video and we will use that. We'll take it off the page and put it into the unit section so you won't no longer see it on the page. Only the unit section will have videos that pertain to products. Or, or pertain to recipes or things like that. But, um, Todd, this is going to be a huge piece for us moving forward. Okay, the second Facebook group, um, the second Facebook group here, and remember, this, so this is, again, totally separate, so you have to close down what we just talked about. So we're going to review real quick. we got the push play on the video. We've got a customer acquisition Facebook group. That is for people that you don't know how to show the video to. You don't really know how to tell them they need to lose weight, but you know they're a tremendous candidate, and you know if you could just get them to see what you know, that the likelihood of them joining you would be high. We grip them in there. You can also put people in that customer page that have joined you to get them understanding the, the weight loss side of it. You'll have to kind of give them the ground rules there in case they want to post. Now, the third thing, completely separate, this is our representative acquisition page. This one can be used in two different ways. This one can be used after you play the video for someone. You can stick them in this group. Even if they haven't joined you, you can put them in here. This one can be used before you show the video, meaning that you just don't know how to get the video in front of them. You don't know how to get the two-on-one set up. You don't know how to invite them to your living room or to a meeting, but you want this to drip on them. I've got some of those people. I mean, I would consider myself, a, after 20 years full-time, a professional network marketer, I guess, at this point. And there are still people in my life I don't know how to approach that I'm going to use both of these Facebook groups for. My plans Monday are to drop five people in each group. Five people into the customer one that I think could use our products. And then five into this business one. I really don't know how to get them to look at the video yet, but I want to start dripping on them. I'm going to ask them, hey, listen, I know you know that I do something. If you don't mind, I'm just going to drop you into a Facebook group. I'm going to send the link to them and tell them to join it. And then Chris, go one page here. Once they get into the transformation lifestyle Facebook group, what they're going to see in here are post on lifestyle family, time freedom, new houses, cars. We can't make income claims, but we can talk about generically again. We have to be careful. I mean, we're dealing with the FDA and the FTC both. Um, so with this one would be the FTC making income claims. But you can see there, Tammy wrote that really, really well. And uh, go one more time, Chris. And then this, Jimmy Powell put this up. The other day, just a little recording on the COVID-19 pandemic best network marketing, just kind of the information that gets people to think about, you know, where they are, what they might want to do about a home-based business, about creating residual income. We can put a lot of videos in there. I mean, I know Tim Sells does some great videos on helping people overcome the stigma of our industry. We'll get those put in there, especially in the unit section. The unit section, if you're like me, not good with Facebook, is going to be up at the top. And that'll be where like set videos are. And then the, the, these are where all the posts are. Brent, Chris. I just think this is extremely powerful tool, Todd. I mean, we've all had these stories that we haven't been able to share and had difficult times finding the place to share these with us because we have stories literally all over North America, not including other countries. And now having this tool to say, I don't you know, I, I can tell you, like you said, Dr. Crystal Vance, I've told that story and I've showed her a picture but how much more powerful is it going to be that they can go? Then they don't just see her. The next thing you know, they've looked at two or three more stories. If, if we all work, I think that's the thing we all got to understand. You know, we, we need to thank you and Brent for putting this all together, but it's up to our field. It's up to us as representatives to put and plug in. And I'm guilty. 
I can assure you, I've just made myself a note. I'm going to give you some videos of my background. I'm going to give you some videos of my business stuff. I just don't have things that we need everybody to post in here. The more we do, the better the site becomes. And this is one of the things for everybody that's on here. I couldn't agree with, with you more, Chris. Reverse, if you really look at posts on social media, just reverse engineer it to your life. If you're not a creative-minded person, it's okay. I'm not either. I am terrible at making the Tammy Motby post. She's really good at it. So what I would do is I would go to someone like Todd Rowland. He took a picture of him and his daughter. Uh, great picture, by the way, Coach. Uh, and, and they're sitting there by, the, by their vehicles, and he makes a post. So I've got a son. He's got a vehicle. The industry's affected him. He's a rep in the industry. I'm going to reverse engineer that same post, and I'll put that up there. So look at people's posts and think about your life and reverse engineer it. But we need, again, just like the, just like the customer acquisition page, we need this to be focused around lifestyle testimonies. Maybe it's Andrea Rosser's testimony where she bought a car and talked about the industry. It, maybe it's 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 the dad that's working 80 hours a week that this industry has allowed him to go to a ball game with his kids. You know, people need to see that. And again, inside of this page through this weekend, if you like a video, so the same thing applies, Todd. Let me go back. Five a week is what I would challenge to move people over here, challenge yourself, compete with yourself every week. You can tag them. Hey, Todd, start here in the Fred Cooper video. It's actually all the executives talking about the vision of the company. But right now, that's the video that we're tagging people in. And then we can tag them in a couple of transformations that relate to them. Now, if there's videos out there specifically for business that you like, Maybe it's got to do with comp plan. Maybe it's got to do with whatever. If there's a video out there you like that, uh, that affects our, our company, then this weekend, put it into the comment section like this, like you would a transformation, and we'll move it to the unit section, and then we'll take it out of the, out of the main section. But that way we can get massive feedback from you. And Todd, I see a lot of it happening in the chats. The, the, where it says transformation lifestyles and transformation health, all of that's going to be formatted to look really pretty. So just hang with us. We're going to make the, both of these groups awesome. Trust me. Awesome. Coach, did you? Yeah, I was trying – I, I was trying to text Anthony. I couldn't, it wouldn't let me unmute, but he found it. So thank you, Anthony, for unmuting me. Okay. So three things so far. One is um, the video, the push play video. That is your first choice always. Second, customer acquisition Facebook group. That's for people I don't know how to send the video to, and I don't know how to approach about the business, but I think they would be great candidates to use our products. You can also put people that have watched the video into that group once they've watched it. Third Facebook group is the people you're chasing for business. These are your business owners. Maybe the people that don't need to lose any weight, but they would absolutely love to create more income in their life, time freedom, residual income. Let us all drip on them for you. You can also put them in there after they watch the video. Okay, here are the next two Facebook groups. There's four total. These are really identical, so you don't have to be a part of both of these. Um, you kind of you be it's kind of up to you. But uh, our explanation it was Lemu's information flow page, and Moa Challenge was RX's information flow page. So these pages both are really built for people only after they physically have joined you in the business, because everything flows on these pages. It, it would be too much for someone you're trying to prospect. Uh, but once they're in, it'll get them Zoom times. It'll get them uh, meeting places. It'll get them congratulations to people. It, it will give them title advancements. It's just, 
it, it, anything could be coming through these two pages. It just keeps people plugged in. It's where we went and posted this Zoom this morning to make sure everybody remembered it. Um, so that is MOA Challenge and RX Nation. Chris Brent? I think you should be plugged into both of them. I mean, don't just do one. Guys, I'm plugged into both and I do that. Everything that you plug into, the more things you plug into, the more you're going to get notified. And you just won't, it, I just think you should plug everybody into both groups and you'll get different information. Uh, obviously, the Lemu, Lemu group has, has been doing more on RX Nation, but I love to hear what they post. And our the group we had at RX was more on the other page, but it doesn't matter. The more challenge was Todd's page, but I want, I, I feel like you get more impact from both. I know you guys try to put it on both, but not everybody posts both. I want to see comments from every single person. I love the information. And I think keeping your teams plugged in, we all know there's one thing that makes this work, putting people in the system, but getting them plugged into things and getting them just seeing what's going on. It helps them stay engaged. There's no other way to put it. So I, I highly recommend being a part of both with notifications, not just on it. I have my being. I don't have my everything being, but I want to know when my Facebook from my business beings. I don't mean that bad. My family, I'll check their posts later. Man, when it comes to my business, I want to know what's going on. I want notifications on those two, not just on the page. So that's just a little tidbit I would recommend. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I mean, this right here, I want to congratulate, first of all, everybody on this Zoom today because you guys do an outstanding job doing flyers and recognizing people, rank advancements, uh, big week in the business, new reps coming into the business. Uh, new customers coming in, like you do so great. And one of the things, Todd and Chris, I know we all three would agree on is adults love recognition. Like it's a huge part of our industry. These two pages are the pages where, man, you shout it from the rooftops and then we all can get on there and congratulate and thank them. And, you know, we're, we're so glad for them to be a part of the family and, you know, that and then that coupled with the information and plugging people in, it's why these two pages are just instrumental in, in our success. Yes, and I see that a couple of people ask about the skincare page, which we shared in Florida that we would be launching. We haven't launched it yet just because we launched so much, but there will be a, a third group. You got the customer acquisition group, uh, transformation, uh, health styles, and then you got the, the business group, Transformation Lifestyles. And then we will get um, something like Transformation Skincare. I don't know, but that will launch sometime the next week or two. And that'll be a third group for those that want to build with a skincare line. But I, I'm going to remind you, because sometimes you can get lost in the technology. It is a tremendous asset. But if you go around the room, anytime we do a big event, and you find the people that are making the most money, whose teams are growing the fastest, they're doing one of two things really well. They're running an in-person weekly meeting or they're running a really high quality Zoom. Uh, Africa, South Africa is growing like no tomorrow through really, I was gonna say weekly Zooms, they're almost doing daily Zooms. Um, and they're growing, but they're really consistent with it. They have that personable, they have great people running them. They're really good. Uh, Tammy, Brent, all of them from, from here in North America are helping out with them, but a lot of their local leaders are now running a lot of them. Uh, make sure that you have that running for your teams locally, in person, if you can in your state. And then if you can't, then do Zooms. And if you really want to take it to the next level, it's really good it's a lot of times do both. And quit one time, Chris. All right, thing just locks up on me. There we go. Okay, these are, and, and I'll turn it back to you, Brent, you and Chris to, to share both of this, but these are some of the Zooms that you want to get your new reps plugged into. Obviously, a brand new person that just signed up yesterday. Um, there's a whole lot here. There, I mean, it's, it's uh, it, you don't have to bombard them, kind of go in order of priority, but I will tell you, that you should, if you're pretty serious about this, get on all of these Zooms yourself. Find the ones that you like. You know, everybody relates to people differently. There's women here, there's business people here, there's every personality, the company ones there at the top. 
but find the ones that appeal to you and try to get all of your new team members on at least one a week, maybe two a week. Um, we, this one is every Saturday morning. Uh, Brent runs his coach's call every Sunday night. They're both more designed for training. Those corporate Zooms, a lot of times will they highlight recognition. They'll have guest speakers from the corporate office, announcements. Um, I'm not able to get on all of them just because I have a schedule. I'm, I'm, a lot of times I'm actually physically in meetings, but I've never been on one that something didn't come across that I needed to know. They're really good. I try to go back and watch them on the North American Facebook page when I miss them. And then you can see there in the middle, the prospecting Zooms. But I, I would use a prospecting Zoom generally for a second exposure. We found the video seems to convert better than first time Zooms. Or if you do a first time Zoom, just get them on the video after they watch the Zoom and let them see it again. But these prospecting Zooms are terrific, really, for people that have just joined to see the presentation over and over, hear different personalities, different perspectives, different um, transformation stories. It gets them really bought in and understanding what they're a part of. Something I'm going to add, Todd, about the, you, you're talking about the conversions and also about the videos. A lot of times I've already had people say that the videos that were made and the ones, the new ones, they said they don't seem as clean. Or, and Brent, you, you addressed this while we were down in Florida. So I want to reiterate something. Guys, we've got a lot of experience in here. I've been here 19 years. I mean, between Todd, myself, and Brent, we're talking about a lot of people who made a lot of money in the industry, but also experience on what works. That's what's the most important part. So one thing I want to add to that is that a lot of times you see videos, they look really great. The key is what they, Todd just said, conversion. Use those videos for conversion, but we also know one-on-ones, two-on-ones in person, and you being with them with that video is critical. Do not underestimate that part. That is so important. And so you may think, wow, that video is not as cool as the one that they posted in my, my app. Folks, it has nothing to do with how cool the play looks. I think of these football coaches who tell you, and some of these fun plays they see run sometimes look really cool on TV. But the ones, the, the basic fundamentals that work is what you're going to see them run. And you're going to, you know, the, the guys on here that don't know football, I'm just saying, Basic fundamentals that work, and these these videos were intentionally not done. And Todd and I had a personal experience with this in the last two years, where we shot a video that was getting great conversions, and then we went back and really worked on it again and cleaned it up. The conversion rate dropped. Todd, do you want to reiterate that? I mean, I, or Brent? I mean, I just know Brent talked about it last Saturday or last Friday morning. My days kind of got screwed up. <laughs> Friday morning, you may have talked about that, Brent. But I think it's really important for people to understand these what? conversion is the key words. Yeah, one one of the challenges, Chris, I, I couldn't agree more. Is is sometimes corporate will get a hold of something and and start. It, obviously, it's got to have some compliance, and that's why Todd does a great. He understands that, and 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 to put it in a a very short time slot from from the point of talking to the point of how to enroll to be able to grab all that in a fourteen minute segment is is incredible, and. Just the fact that it's not polished in in the fact of a commercial look. No one wants a commercial. We see those every day. We see ads every day on social media, on, on TV. And so it can't feel like an ad. And Todd makes the shoulders drop. He makes people engage. There's lines like when you listen. And if you'll watch that video every single time and pull in and realize the when he talks about the Slurpee and the Dr. Pepper, he specifically did that for a reason. Watch your people that watch that. Don't say a word to them. Watch where they laugh. Watch where they engage. And that's why it converts. And so the more people you press play with, the more people's going to win there for you and enroll in your business. One of the things I wanted to add, Chris, going back to what Todd said, was about meetings, weekly meetings. Um you, you're on the Zoom right now, or you're watching the recording a little bit later, and you go, man, I see where our company's going. I want a piece of this. How do I do it? Throw up a rock in your town and let it drop and have a meeting right there weekly. And it's going to start with one person, two people, three people. But do that persistently and consistently over the next 90 days and watch what happens in your hometown. We have a $600 million startup company that some 
are projecting could possibly be over a billion by the end of the year. Now, just so you know, that's in a month, okay? So whether it does or it doesn't, 600 million is a lot of money, and that's a cash-rich company. And for most people in North America, no one's ever heard our name. So if I am sitting there, and I am sitting here, we're going to do weekly meetings in Florence, Alabama, coming out of the gate right now, and we're going to do them persistently and consistently. So if you're looking around going, okay, I want to do that, then just do it. What do I show at the meeting? You can show the Facebook groups and show those transformation stories. You definitely want to press play. So if I'm running a weekly meeting, Chris, I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to make it inviting. There people are going to come in. I'm going to pour them some shots of blue too because it tastes good, <laughs> you know, and it's going to be kind of like a Super Bowl party. We're just going to be meshing 15 minutes in. I bring everybody in. I welcome them. And guess what? I'm going to play my good friend, Todd Rowland, that was a football coach. I'm going to play his video and watch what it does with the crowd. Well, Brent, they've all seen the video. Watch it again. They'll pick up something on it. I promise you, you build that environment and they will come. Can you do Zooms? Absolutely. Can you do social media? Absolutely. Do it all. Do it all. But don't leave out the meetings. We know the meetings are critical. I think Todd and I would both agree with that. And I know Brent does. If you don't have a weekly meeting, all these things will, you may put a lot of people in the business, but you won't keep a lot of people in the business. You will not build a long-term business. I just had a Zoom with some of the group from Arkansas, uh, not, I guess, Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. And we all agreed we're going to push to play. We're going to do our testimonials and we're going to use the videos. And, there's, and somebody would say, well, we got somebody here. that's a great presenter. Yes, we could. But the key is that's not as duplicatable. You can't, Todd and Brent can't be at every meeting. And those are great presenters. But if Todd's pushing play, there's a reason. If Brent's pushing play, there's a reason. So guys, consider that, push and play. So I want to reiterate that. Todd, I know you unmuted. No, just I, I think that summarizes it up. Uh, I saw a question that said, what's a good meeting time? It really depends on your group. We know we've seen six o'clock work. We've seen 630 work. We've seen seven work. I've seen lunchtime meetings, weekly meetings work really well in back rooms of restaurants. Um, it, you know, they obviously work better. The lunchtime meetings work better in bigger cities where people kind of have office jobs and the more rural areas. Sometimes evening meetings work better. Sometimes the weekly meeting can be in a living room. Uh, sometimes it's at a, at, at a nice rented location. Sometimes it's in the back rooms of restaurants for free or the library or the community center. And I will tell you, Brent said it, anybody that's ever worked the business with success knows every great meeting starts bad. And the way it becomes great is you persevere through the bad. You, you do those meetings like they had 100 people in them when they only have two people that show up. Uh, so the two people that showed up have confidence in fighting to get somebody to come the next week. And then it really becomes, the meetings become really a second exposure. They've watched the video two-on-one or or, or, or by themselves, they've been on some of these Facebook groups and you finally got them now to the point they'll actually show up at a meeting and the meeting becomes the confirmation with the transformation stories, both from a financial standpoint and from a health standpoint. They see the same video and I love what Britt just said. You can even pull the Facebook groups up and let some of the, the big time transformations that have lost 100 plus pounds do the talking for you now. We don't have to point at Richard Tuggle on the screen and say, and tell the story. I can just go to the Facebook group and let him tell his own story and let people see it straight from him. So quite powerful. I'm seeing more and more ways to use all of this. So uh, in conclusion, remember use each one separately. Um, don't get the lifestyle uh, Facebook group and the health, health uh, Facebook group mixed up. Know who you're putting them into. Make sure people are actually in the company before you put them in RX Nation and MOA Challenge because there's so much information flow there. And guys, let's go take over the world next year. We obviously are moving into December, uh, moving into Christmas. This is the best time of the year to plant. As a matter of fact, it's just like farming. You plant in December, you will harvest in January like no tomorrow. If you wait to plant in January, the planting is a little easier, but the, the harvest doesn't come until February, March. You're missing some of the best harvest months by not starting now. So Get people in these Facebook groups. Don't put them in there without them knowing. You let them know they're going in there. Give them some, some preface there. We have talked to many people that have run these groups. Throwing people in there is bad for the group 
and it's bad for the person you throw in there. So make sure you do uh, talk to them in person or via messenger or text and let them know what's going on. Any closing comments by you guys, Chris or Brent? Brent, will you just go back over one more time the, the websites? I think they need to hear them again. To make sure we clear on them and each of this. Make sure they're clear on the page, the Facebook pages and the websites. Absolutely. And just so everybody knows, we're going to put a cheat sheet up in RX Nation and MOA Challenge that will have the websites. It will have um, it will have uh, researchmoa.com, which is just going to be our product website out on the internet. We've got the rxexperience.com, which is going to be just business related website, you know, so it's a one-stop shop. You know exactly where to go get all of your encyclopedias, for instance. You want on product side, you go to researchmoa.com. On the business side, you go to the rxexperience.com. Really short, really simple, know exactly where to go. And then when you involve people into the Facebook groups and you want to know where to go get things, Transformation Health Styles is the Facebook group for nothing but transformations on our products, videos about our products, one-stop shop on product needs. Flip it over, Transformation Lifestyles is nothing but business that's surrounding lifestyle transformations with videos having to do with everything from the comp plan to, you know, different things about network marketing and why it's, it is the business to be in, in this, in this phase of our world. So we'll, we'll have those running, but we'll also be doing training. So much trainings geared around this system. And again, I can't reiterate enough. Your involvement is, will be the success of these groups. One person cannot run these groups. It is done collectively. So you're going to see the pictures change. You're going to see it be more uniform, more where it's, this is not about a team. It's about a company going to the top of the industry. And so, the, the, and, and again, it's all about conversion. At the end of the day, the reason these exist is to drive more customers into your business and more reps into your business. And then once we get them in, we retain them by plugging in in an onboarding process. And the last thing I'd say, Chris, is, is tomorrow night, I know, Todd, we might be out of time. Tomorrow night on my coaches Zoom, if we don't have time to do the onboarding, I will do a specific training tomorrow night on the onboarding process. Well, I thought everybody needs to realize we're in a special place in time. I think everyone should also plug into Brent at every Sunday night. I don't think you'll ever, ever be disappointed in his calls. I haven't been. Sometimes I sneak in quietly and just listen to myself. And I've been there for 15 years. So, guys, Todd, any, any last words for you? I know I saw you on mute. Yeah, the only last thing is. Let's do the onboarding tomorrow night because it's a whole nother world. But if you want to get ahead of the game and you weren't in Florida, the Facebook group is called Team Undeniable. If you go there and you click send message, flip one time, Chris. When you click, when you click send message, if you type in hi, you see right there at the top right, H-I, hi, you can go ahead and kind of look at the process and be ready for what Brent's going to train on tomorrow night. Don't get this confused with anything we've said so far. This is after they join, just kind of a way to get them started right. So I think it's great that we're going to do that tomorrow night. That way it's completely separate. But make sure if you are here, that you do join us, join back with Brent tomorrow night for the onboarding process. This was a, a massive undertaking to get built. Yes, and, and, and this tomorrow night is one that, that – Here's what you can know with the onboarding process. It's centered around one thing, creating duplication. And if you're going to this right now, if you end up going to the page Team Undeniable and clicking high, don't think about it from your standpoint. You're, you're already a rel. You got to go back to the first day you got started. So think about being excited. Think about wanting to make money, wanting to change your life. Think about it from that perspective and then go through the process. And at the end of the day, how many times have you onboarded somebody, you've started a new route, and you, and you sit there with them, 
which is the best way to start a rep is like belly button to belly button. But after about 30, 45, 50 minutes, they can only retain so much. What if you had a cheat sheet that you could always go back to forever and always and go, remember what to say? Go check the message. It'll tell you exactly what to say. You remember that group that you're not in yet? It's called MOA Challenge. Yeah, go back, click on that, and be a part of that group. It is a cheat sheet forever and always for you when you onboard a new rep. So really focus in and zero in, and I'll talk about this tomorrow night, but focus in if you're going through this. Don't focus in like it's you. Focus in like it's you at the beginning of your journey in this company. So I believe that we're running out of time, guys. I think that you realize this is a work in progress. Uh, if you're here and you're brand new, some of you have been or literally been in the business just for a short period of time. Yet I see people in here that have been in our company for more than a couple of years. Know that this is the beginning of what I've seen happen. Uh, I've been told many times I have seen this picture show before. I know that many of you probably watched a movie where you say, you know what they're going to say before they say it. Well, I'm going to tell you, I've been to this picture show when a system that actually, and, and Coach Palmer mentioned it, that Todd helped build a system that wasn't as fancy as some others. It wasn't, it was intentional and we learned from it. And I watched my business literally that I took a year to build a, a hundred reps to, literally a year took me to a hundred to where I had five and 600 people joining my team on a monthly basis. Some days a hundred plus this. And it was not that there was anything different about that company than here. It was all about having a what? Duplicatable, everybody plugged into a push play system that simplified the message. The good part about what we have here is that I was a part of a company that was not designed to go long term. And I'm a part of a company now that's gonna be a legacy company. That's what Brent and I can't talk about. A legacy company that is not, that's protecting you. For those that are new, learn why we picked this company. Learn why Brent Palmer thanks God every day he found this company. He didn't even know it. He had no clue what he was a part of. So Todd, party words from you. I know you're in Virginia. You got any last things? We're two minutes before shutting it down and get this recording posted. Okay. No, Chris, it's just, um, you know, I'm just excited. I think we're moving into a tremendous time frame in our company's life. And for those that take advantage of it could really set their family up forever with a residual income that's inheritable. You can pass it on to your kids. You can will it, you can trust it and uh, you can live on it for the rest of your life. So don't miss the moment, do your part and go get all of it that you deserve. Be blessed. Have a great week. Coach Palmer, anything last words? Covered? No, see you tomorrow night. Jump over on the onboarding tomorrow night. And again, we're going to do a cosmetics page, a, a skincare page. That's coming. Okay. And uh, the cheat sheets will be on MOA Challenge and RX Nation. So you'll have those. Be blessed. God bless you. Have a great one. Thank you, guys. Yes, yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, so much. Thank you, guys. 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 Thank you, guys.